In this video, we're going to be checking out HYMPS2 by HY Plugins. HYMPS2 is a block based step sequencer. There's eight blocks in which we can program our melodic sequences and we can chain the sequences together using the block chainer. There's also some quite interesting and unique modulation options on offer, so we're going to have a look at some of those too. So the HYMPS2 loads as a MIDI effect or MIDI plugin. So I've got this instrument channel here. I've got an instance of Silymph on here with a synth patch loaded up. And I've loaded the HYMPS2 as a MIDI plugin. So this is triggering the instance of Silymph. In its default state, it's going to trigger back 16th notes. We've got our eight blocks and we can start programming stuff into these blocks now to change the melodic playback. Changing individual notes, working just like an arpeggiator would. Then we can change the octaves, velocity, the probability of each one of these steps actually playing back in the sequence, the gate, so the length, and the shift will shift the notes forward or backwards in time. We've also got the slur option which will hold notes. Let's just go back to our initialized state because the HYMPS2 gets a lot more powerful when you use, for instance, one of the scales in here. So I know that I'm working in A minor, the other elements in this track are A minor, so I'm going to select A, go to natural minor and hit the scale button. You notice they've all snapped away now. And so now that I'm only going to be able to create notes in the scale of A minor. Change the octave for some of these notes. And the velocity. I could go to this first block and I could make eight notes in there or halve it right down to two notes. Could do a little triplet fill on this fourth block. Or this third block, I could change the playback speed. We can very quickly start working up our sequence. Bring in some other elements in here. Take some probability of these down so they may or may not trigger at all in the sequence. So we get even more complex patterns happening. Shift the timing slightly or the slur will hold the note. And at the moment we're only using four of the eight blocks on offer. So let's go and take a look now at this block chainer. Because this controls the playback sequence of all of the blocks. So at the moment it's just playing the first block followed by the second, third and fourth. We could change this here, play the fourth first, then the third, then the first, then the second. And then go back to that sequence. Let's introduce the fifth to the eighth blocks in here as well. And start programming some stuff in these blocks. And then we can control the playback sequence of all eight blocks using this block chainer. Now it actually goes much beyond, much further beyond just playing a sequence of eight blocks. 
So at the moment, it's the size here is set to eight blocks, but you could take this right up to 64 blocks. So you could write the whole arrangement in here, constantly shifting and evolving your melodic pattern. You can also change the playback, global playback speed here. So it's really powerful pattern sequencer. Let's take the size back to eight. Let's have a look at some of the modulation options that we have on the plugin as well. So if I click to this modulation tab, we can then start directing LFOs and either a choice of three or four different LFOs a multi-point envelope. So let's look at this LFO, standard LFO slot here. We can select our source to modulator one, which is our LFO, and we can target any of the parameters within the plugin. So let's have a look at our sequence and say pattern two or block two is occurring quite a lot in here. Let's go here and let's modulate block two. And let's modulate the pitch of block two with this LFO. change the rate and it's maintaining that snap to the scale so we're actually getting even more interesting melodic sequences happening now and this second modulator let's look at a different modulator engine now we've got a probability LFO so we can select the probability of the LFO rate and the probability of one of these waves triggering the LFO. So you can see here the LFO wave is being represented. We're just getting these unique LFO waves based on how much of the probability of each one is in there, the likelihood of it being included in this wave. So we're just getting some really interesting movement happening. So let's take this second modulator and let's modulate all of the blocks now, the octave, for example. And it's taken the octave of all of them up according to the LFO wave. We also have a stepped LFO multi-point envelope. You can control click to add extra nodes and draw unique modulation and a sample and hold LFO as well. So loads of really interesting modulation options added to, to the numerous options we have for creating really interesting and constantly evolving melodic sequences. Of course you wouldn't have to have the scale snap on, but it's a lot easier and quicker and more intuitive to program with this on set to your scale. And then you can start adding notes in and creating really interesting and unique sequences and patterns. So be sure to check out HYMPS2 by HY Plugins, which is available now at ADSRSounds.com. <laughs>